Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. It is recommended that the board return to open session. Can I have a motion, please? So moved. Mr. Cantino? Second. Ms. Pellet? All in favor? Aye. 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 We are in open. Uh, can we stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, please? <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Pat, can I have a reading of the meeting notice, please? The New Jersey Open Public Meetings Law was enacted to ensure the right of the public to have advance notice of and to attend the meetings of public bodies at which any business affecting their interest is discussed or acted upon. In accordance with the provisions of the act, Vernon Township Board of Education has caused notice of this meeting to be published and adequate notice has been provided and notice of this meeting has been properly posted in accordance with the New Jersey Open Public Meeting Law. The next work session meeting will be held on Thursday, September 14th. And the next public meeting will be held on Thursday, September 21st. Thank you, Pat. Uh, Pat, do you need to redo the roll call? Um, because we were we were in close. Like, uh, do you want to do that or? I, I mark you have everybody okay. down okay. who's. I just want to make sure. So. Okay, so we're going to move on to item G. Welcome, everybody. We have uh, six candidates for our uh, position here, and we're going to go in order of how it is on the agenda. Uh, so we're going to ask two questions, and uh, we're going to start with Elaine. Yes, unless you don't want to go first, Elaine, and that's okay. <laughs> oh, good. good. <laughs> Hi, how are you today? Thank you, God. Fine. Good, good. That's awesome. Well, the first question is, what do you feel makes an effective board member? Someone who concentrates on the children using people's money wisely and making decisions that will cause no harm to the students. Okay, that's a great answer, thank you. And then mm -hmm. also why uh, do you, are you applying for this position? Well, number one, it's vacant. <laughs> and number two, I feel that I can add to the input for all the years that I have experienced working with children. I was a business owner. Uh, my husband had his own business, and I did a lot of forensic accounting. I worked for um, uh, law firms, and I worked for major food companies, and my position was forensic accounting. Okay, great. Do you have anything else that you wanted to add? Well, my concern is for the children. Okay. My, that's that's my chief concern because I, I feel that uh, I was very dismayed to find out that Vernon Township High School is not even making the rank. When I read the paper, I was very disappointed. When we moved here, Vernon was one of the top schools in Sussex County. Now it's no longer there. And I want to see it come up again. And not so much for performance that we have a a name for ourselves, but performance for the kids that, you know, they are having an education that can give them a viable way of making a living. You know, my son's friends went to college. They did not get a job in their area. My boys were taught by my husband to be electricians, and they are both making more money and no debt than what the college friends have. Go figure. So I really feel that trades have to be really brought back into the school. Okay, great. Well, thank you so much. And thank you for coming in to apply today. Uh, we're going to interview each person and then we're going to go back into close to make our decision. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Elaine.
Next up is uh, Bill Higgins, who is, should be on Zoom. Is Are you able to get him? Yes, this is. Okay. Oh, well, Matt, we don't have our screen. Yeah, you can you hear me. You got it from the other room. You were using it. I need to wheel it in here. Oh. I'm okay. multitasking. Oh, gosh, that's a lot. Shouldn't we have him on screen, though, so we can see him? We can hear yeah. him. If you want to wait a second, I can wheel one in. Um, we could do someone else and yep. go back to him after. No, well, I don't know if Matt has oh. to do something with this stuff. <laughs> We need visual. Today. <laughs> Hello, Ray. How you doing? I'm I'm well. Everything good there? Oh, Bill, we're just waiting for the screen because we can't see you, and we want to see your smiling face. Oh boy! See <laughs> Bill. Okay. Bill, can you hear me? I can hear you. I can see everybody. Yep. Okay, good. Great. Okay, great. So two questions. Uh, one, what do you feel makes an effective board member? A board member is effective if they really understand their role. And the role is to make sure that the uh, Board of Education hires the best superintendent, business administrator, assistant superintendent, and top people to run the district review them annually, work directly with them. That's the number one job. Number two job is to understand the budget, understand how the process works and get involved. And number three is to be inquisitive, ask questions, be part of the overall process. You're there as a board member, not as a individual parent, not as an individual uh, expert in road repairs or whatever is needed in the school. You're the person and the, the group that's overseeing the entire process within the guidelines the state has administered. Okay, great. Thank you. And uh, why are you applying for this position? Well, right now, it's my perception that the board needs some experienced people. And Joe Sweeney, who is experienced and Joe is on the Zoom call, is one that comes to mind. He left, he came back. And whenever I go to the meetings and I listen to you, Kelly or Joe, I can tell who's got the right background just from experience. It's, it's a very, very tough task to be a new board member, walk into your first meeting and you, you're you absolutely snowed under. You don't know what to ask. And right now, this board needs, uh, needs some experience and needs some help, needs some guidance, at least to ask the right questions. Okay, great. Well, thank you so much for applying. And uh, we're going to go into closed after everybody interviews and then uh, make our decision. So we'll let you know as soon as we're out of closed. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Carly. Is she here? No? Okay. Uh, can you just mark that Carly's a note now? Harry, how are you today? <clears throat> Good to see you. Oh, my pleasure. So, uh, what do? You, how do you feel? Um, what makes an effective board member? Effective board member is not unlike a township council. It's about listening, knowing your roles, working with the professionals that you hire. It's about leadership. It's about identifying a problem, analyzing the problem, coming, with, coming up with alternative solutions, having those solutions fit to work, and following through with those solutions, do they work, and do we have to adjust those solutions? And what we're doing here is the most valuable, and I hate to use the word, resource that any community has, it's our children, it's their education. And it's really uh, interesting, and makes me feel older than I am when I see even former players of mine, because you know I taught up or coached up here for 13 years, that they have kids now in the school system. So it's about working together. It's about listening to the public, addressing their concerns. And I understand you have many concerns right now, many issues with the budgets. You know, I'm very big on the water, whether it was 2017 with the lead and now the PFOS. You need experience. You need experience, and I have the experience from 
working with budgets and being active in the township government for the last uh, eight and a half years. Okay, great. And then why are you applying for the position? Applying for the position because I need, I believe we need a bit more involvement between the Board of Ed and the township government. The Board of Ed, uh, your tax dollars is about 56%. The town takes about 24%, 2%. The libraries and the rest falls to the county. I think we need a better marriage. Now, we do have shared service with the gasoline, right? Yes. But we need to be more involved. The number one issue I hear out there is about taxes. So we have to give a quality education. There's all concerns about our test scores because the money that we spend has to give our kids that best education. And it's just not in the classroom. It's outside the classroom when you learn lessons of leadership and working with people and being accountable. So I just feel if I'm fortunate enough, enough to be elected mayor again, I have a more in-depth understanding of the intricacies of the board and then be able to reach for town and work together with Mr. Rogers and the rest of the professional staff and, of course, the board itself. Thank you so much. Anything else that you wanted to add? Uh, I just would talk about my training education experience. Uh, I have four kids that went through the school system. I now have two grandchildren in the system. I coached here for 13 years. Um, after I retired as a police officer, where I conducted thousands of investigations as well as supervised them, I know about how to ask questions. I know how to be objective. You may have an allegation. You need to be objective. Did a crime occur? Is there an offense? Who did it? And then, of course, as I already mentioned, being so familiar with the town, working at the high school for 13 years, one year of security, and the government experience, I just believe we can make this all work. We're at a real crossroad of in this community, and we need to work together. Thank you. Thank you. Robert, it's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Good. How are you today? I'm great. How are you? Good. Uh, so what do you feel makes an effective board member? An effective board member um, understands, you know, their role, like everybody's saying. Um, and the thing is, is that you we have to understand that uh, priorities, okay, are the students. All right. Um, I've been a teacher and a coach for 40 years. I still am. Still out in the field, coaching soccer, still in the classroom. Um, we have to be creative with our financial situations, all right? Um, and you have to look at, like, a whole perspective, okay? If someone comes up to me and asks me, okay, and says, blah, 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 I always have a great phrase, talk to your school administrator. Talk to your teacher, all right? Um, you have to understand that perspective um i think you know i think i've been on both sides of it so that's going to make me an effective board member. I, i've been president of a teacher's union in negotiations you know i've been um on the board here for two and a half years and you, you know you have to be able to make tough decisions and that's about it okay and why did you apply for this position uh, I think I bring uh, a lot of experience, all right? Um, I have, like, a lot of pride in Vernon Township schools, okay? Um, I think the administrators, the teachers, the coaches, your athlete, our athletic director is great. I think they, too, take a great job. I don't put a lot into that ranking of schools, okay? Because two things, subjective and socioeconomics, Okay. I don't think if you go to Sparta, you know, call me crazy, okay, or if you go to Walk Hill, okay, that you get a better education per se at Sparta, okay? People put way too much into that because it comes out, you see all the social media, okay? Um, you know, I, I think uh, you have to support the teachers, the coaches, the programs, Okay, uh, that kind of thing. You also have to understand that um, we're getting squeezed by Trenton big. Okay, we're just fighting for a little piece of meat here. All right, and eighty percent is going to uh, Abbott schools. 
put the cards right on the table. So, you know, if I was picked as a board member, the first thing I would do is get on the phone to the county commissioners and tell them to get their rear ends down to Trenton and fight for us. Okay. Um, people kind of don't understand um, that perspective. You know, um, you know, I think, you know, the experience I've had, I was on the board here for two and a half years. Okay. Um, you know, that's basically it. Great. Thank you so much for applying. Mary Beth? Hello. Hi, how are you? Excellent, thanks. Oh, Matt. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Matt. <laughs> how are you today? Good. Uh, what do you feel makes an effective board member? It's a team. Got to be a team player. Got to understand how the team works. A good board member is not going to rush in to with their own agenda. It's a good board member is going to figure out what the agenda of the team is and lend whatever skills they've got to make that work. Great. And uh, why did you apply? I have time now. <laughs> my child has graduated from college. My husband's business is established. My business is established. And I'm I'm ready to give what I've got. Okay. I'm here for the long term. That's awesome. Anything else you wanted to add? I've been here for 20 years. Uh -huh. I put a child through the school system and took mm -hmm. her out of it, put her back in and took her out of it. Um, I understand a lot of why the schools do what they do. And I understand that there's a diverse population in our school system and they all need to be served. Okay, great. Thank you for coming in. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Okay, uh, we are going to now go into close. So it's recommended that the board enter closed session for the purposes of discussing board member candidate interviews. Uh, can I have a motion, please? So moved. Mr. Contino. Second. Mr. Kraus. All in favor? Aye. 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 We are in closed.